Am I as upset today as I was yesterday? No. But I'm still distracted. I still look for a place to belong. Now realizing that maybe I haven't been so focused on my art the past days. Maybe that's why I don't feel that I belong. Because the art is identity, is being. <sighs> I read this decision on on the government's uh, so what they are doing now is that they do are doing an investigation on the pandemic influence on the culture and how to restart culture and art after the pan pandemic during the pandemic and looking at flaws in the system for cultural politics. Um, I want to survive as an artist. I am an artist. That's my purpose in life. And I need to live my purpose. Everyone is winning if I am living with purpose. And this is the struggle. This is the struggle. Maybe this is the struggle of everyone in everyone's life to survive authentically. What makes me sad and what makes me fighting harder is when my essence of existence is questioned, whether I am needed in society, whether I am worth and worthy living off that which I am designated to do. Being an artist is putting myself in the front line of the war. And someone has to be in the front line. Saying This is the army. This is the people. This is the world. This is us. Look at us. This is us. We exist. I exist. Putting the borders of existence into the world defining the army, defining the tools, creating a picture of what the war is like. And right now it's like <sighs> this is me, I'm an artist and this is my army full of artists and we're in the middle of a war without an enemy and what are we fighting for? Like we don't have to fight.
but we're here. And you need us. You need us. We all need us. But we are um, looking for other jobs because the war is, you know, ah, ah, not needed, ah, not important. Why don't you do something else with your time? Well, my tools need to be sharpened. My craft needs to be sustained and it won't unless I'm using it. And I can't use it if I'm busy doing other things, creating wars, for example. Yeah, that was today. See you tomorrow.